Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of our videos. We want to thank all of our subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you find this video to be helpful, please do us a big favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you watch this video to the end so you can see how adorable this little dog is. In this video, what we have is another case of extremely overgrown nails. As you can see, the nails are again just hooking right into the pad, causing a lot of discomfort and making it very difficult for this dog to walk. While working on this dog, we also noticed a lot of skin irritation and fungus all around the nails and in the pad. You can see how much hair is billowing out of the pads. It's very difficult to even locate the nails. I'm really just inspecting here and seeing what I have to deal with. You can see this one nail is actually corkscrewing down. I'm taking my clipper now and using a 10 blade and I'm just trying to clip out some of the hair to make it more visible and accessible. I'm using a 10 blade while doing the pads. Now I can see the nails more clearly. I'm working around the dog and doing each pad individually. This is going to allow me to clip the nails more accurately. You can notice that the fungus is enveloping the base of the nail, which is causing the skin to be very, very soft and irritated. I'm clipping most of it off, but we're going to get the rest off in the bath. You could see the actual spot where the nail was poking. The nail clippers I chose to use are cat nail clippers. By using the cat nail clippers, I can clip more accurately and get underneath the nail much easier. These nails are very soft, so the cat nail clippers are just going right through them. Here you can see me pulling off some of the fungus that was wrapped around this nail. Again, the cat nail clippers are allowing me to come underneath the nail and clip. You can see how long the nail was poking right into the pad. Here I'm working on the back left paw. I'm supporting body weight by using my hand and my wrist. I reposition the paw to get a better angle on the last two nails. As you can see in this shot, the dew claw has wrapped around and has been poking the digit for so long, it has caused the digit to abscess. By clipping these nails, it's instantly relieving the dog of any pain. Finally working on the last foot here. We understand that everyone's situation is different and there's different circumstances for why this may happen to dogs. 
regardless we should always try to do something about it because this was a five minute fix and if you can help it never let your dog get to this point by letting the nails get overgrown like this it can also lead to a lot of other different problems such as deformity of the foot knee problems hip problems and infections What a difference. Even the dew claw abscess seems to be looking a little better already. As we mentioned, here's this adorable little dog. She felt so much better and was able to walk out of our shop normally. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please do us a big favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.